In the Protestant tradition, Mary has often been downplayed, but still she calls on our imaginations, especially in the Christmas season, when we remember a young girl startled by the visit of the angel with a message about pregnancy, the moment when Mary says yes to God, the wild rejoicing of the Magnificat, the long journey to Bethlehem, no room at the inn, giving birth in the stable, visits by shepherds and wise men, and a final image of Mary pondering all these things in her heart. Mary, there she is in glorious stained glass, and here, more humbly, carved in olive wood from Palestine, here in the stable, keeping watch over her newborn baby. Now, the Greek Orthodox have a special term for Mary, Theotokos. Theo meaning, of course, God, and tokos meaning, well, giving birth or bringing forth, burying, carrying, as if Mary were the one who, through her flesh, brings forth God into the world. There is an ancient hymn of praise for Mary that uh, claims that she offers space for the uncontained God. I wonder if Mary is the invitation for each one of us to bring forth new life, to be open to the Spirit, to become pregnant, well, with God ourselves. I recall the words of a German mystic from the 14th century, Meister Eckhart, who said, of what use is it if Mary gave birth to the Son of God 1400 years ago, if I am not also giving birth to God in my time, in my place? We are all mothers of God, for God is always needing to be born. Now that's a thought worth pondering. I mean, what would it mean to give birth to God? Maybe that's the deep meaning of incarnation, not only God in Jesus, but the uncontained Holy One asking for space in the lives of each one of us. The moment when God is waiting for our yes to the movement of the Holy Spirit so that it might find root room in our heart, so that we might become pregnant with hope and faith, where we might be ready for the long, slow, steady growth of possibility in the womb, ready for hard labor and bringing forth, giving birth to compassion and love, to peace and justice, where our hands and feet, our hearts and minds will become channels of God's love in the world, though that may come in unexpected ways, like a savior who arrives as a little baby in a manger wrapped in swaddling clothes. Let me finish with just a few words from another German mystic, Angelus Silesius, who says, if in our hearts we make a manger for his birth, then God will once again become a child on earth. That's worth repeating. If in our hearts we make a manger for his birth, then once again, God will become a child on earth. So this Christmas, think about what it might mean for you to become pregnant with hope and love and maybe give birth so that you and all the world will know the deep meaning of Merry Christmas. <laughs>